Hey there guys, it's me MC Mon. Welcome you guys back for another video. And today I'm gonna be doing my second tutorial ever on this channel. And today I'll be showing you guys how to make really really cool text. Like really cool. And the two two um programs you'll be needing for this. No, you only need one program. You'll be needing Cinema 40. Any version. I'm using R14 today. So you can see R14. But you can use anything you want, anything will work. Any version of Cinema 40. Now I'll be li leaving all the links that you need. You'll be needing a Lightroom, which I'll be telling you which one. A Lightroom, and you'll be needing the Cinema 40. So I'll be needing for this video. So let's get into it. So today we'll be making something like this. So if you guys want to make an intro or just like really cool text like this, maybe for a thumbnail. So yeah, and um, make sure you guys leave a thumbs up on this video if you want to see more Cinema 40 After Effects, Photoshop, and other tutorials if you guys want to see it so make sure you guys like comment and subscribe thank you guys for 175 subscribers we're going quick anyway think sorry for the inactivity i had a lot of things i'm working on big projects right now but sorry for that but just stay tuned my channel's gonna get i'm working on things don't worry but anyway i'm making this right now so here we are so this is what we're making but instead of it's saying text we're gonna be saying name just name okay so you will be needing the gang of three gang of three um font so i'll le leave that in the um, description if you want to look like this like this is a really good font i recommend it but you can also use any type any font you want so let's jump into our cinema 40 i have a 64 bit machine so i'll be jumping into the 64 bit version right here so here it is it loads up we're in cinema 40 right here so all we gotta do so the first thing I recommend doing is going into this button right here, settings like right there, clicking on it, and then this will pop up from here, put 1920 by right here, 1080. Let's click here. Now this is all good. We'll be doing a picture for today. If you want to make an intro, then do all frames. But I'll be making a picture for today, so current frame. And that's it for here. And if this is on something else, like CM, just put it to pixels, pixels right there. When you go save, do PNG if you're doing a picture, which we're doing today, like I said. If you're not doing it, um, if you have Mac, I would say QuickTime. If you have, just do AVI. But if you have maybe MP4 or anything else, it'll be good. But today we're making a picture, so we go to PNG. Now just leave everything else here the same. Name a file. Um, I'll be naming it name, just name, because that's what we'll be naming it today. This is all files. Save it to your desktop right here. And just go save. Alright. And then we go here. Let's go best. Let's go best right here. And just leave all this. Just leave it all there. Just leave it like that. If you're making a intro, then go here, Goss. If you're making a picture like we're doing today, let's do this. So then all you gotta do is that's that's it for the picture. This uh, that's it for this. Um, so yeah, so that's all. So then it's saved. There's no apply or anything. Saved. Now what you gotta do is add some text. You can add it to anything. Like, you can add it to a cube or anything. I'll be showing you. I get. I'll be showing it to you on a text first, and then I'll show you show it to you on like an object, like a cube. So here we go. All we gotta do is go mo graph. Hold the right left click button and go mo text. Most of you guys should already know the basics already. Um, just takes a bit. Then all you gotta do is like use this button to move like this, something like this, something like this. Pretty simple. Pretty sure you guys already know this. That's why you're watching this video. Anyway, click this. Make sure you click it, and then go here where it says align, and then do this middle. Okay. Now just like zoom in. I know it looks really ugly right now. It doesn't even look. Doesn't even look close to this. As you can see doesn't even look close but i'll be showing you how to make it really cool so we'll be naming this name today name so here we go and then see where it says font just go here and pick any font you guys want you guys can pick any font you want 
Today I'll be using Gang of Three because I told you it looks really cool. So Gang of Three, I'll be leaving that in the description. If you guys really want to make an intro or just a picture like I did, I really do recommend this. It looks really cool. Um, yeah, this, this is really, really cool. I like this font a lot. Anyway, so now what we gotta do is just keep this regular. Everything's good. Go to caps right here. Turn this to fill it cap and fill it cap. And put steps to three and put radius to four. And do that for th this two. Three and just to four as well. <clears throat> and now, that's it for the text right here. Also change the depth to 60. 60 is really nice. Oh yeah, and subdivision, make that 12. This makes it looks, everything looks really nice and smooth. And now, as you can see, it's already starting to look really, really good. Now what we gotta do is add the textures. So I'll be leaving that Lightroom link in the description because that's, be, that's what we'll be needing to use for this. So yeah, we're gonna be needing to use this Lightroom because that's what the textures are in. As you can see, all these textures. Semingual Arts Lightroom version 5. So click on that. So let's add a Lightroom, add really good lighting. Click on materials and click on whatever you want you want to do. I recommend using iron as the front plate. As you can see here, I used iron, any type of iron, first plate, and then do whatever color you like on here. So we'll be making something similar to that right now. So I'll be just going iron. Pick anything, any version you want. I recommend the number three one if you want. If you want it to look like the crack, like this. I, I think I use number three. And yeah, I think that one was number three I believe let me just check that one more time it's like dots right yeah yeah I, I'm I believe it was number three but anyway or maybe this might be but let's go iron and then for the second one I'll be using red today but you can use any of these awesome textures I'll be using red and I'll be using this one this this one red number eight is how you get like this like um like line shape right there like as you can see it's lined so that's what we're going to be doing to so be picking red eight as you can see is all as you can see right here it's like all these different like types it looks really cool Any, anyway then drag both of them it doesn't matter which one you drag on first the text but drag just drag them both on the text all right and as you can see it's like this right so what you gotta do is see more text click more text as you can see, both of these, whatever one you want it to be on front, put it to the back. So we're going to be putting iron to the front. So just drag that over here. Boom. Now what you got to do is click the iron, go selection, and type in capital C, 1. And then you can see, as you can see, like red in background. Now what you got to do is go projection, cubic, and seamless on. And do the same thing for the red. Don't put C1, but just do cubic and just do seamless. Don't don't put the C1 for the red or whatever one you want to be in the behind. All right. So there, it looks really cool. And yeah, so I was right. This is the dotted one. Oh no, this isn't the one. But yeah, we'll use this one because it looks really cool. Anyway, now what we'll be doing is, as you guys can see, the background is just like it looks better. So that is just. A regular physical sky so just go here physical sky and boom got the physical sky don't mess around with that but you could now there we go it looks really nice shine sun is shining looks really nice but now what we gotta do is we're gonna be adding a cube add a cube and make it bigger as you can see these, this dot right here make it as long as your text however long your text is make it a bit short make it about the same size as your text so go to the back of your no go here and just look at the size of your text as you can see like you need to make it a bit bigger move it over a bit there you go make it maybe a bit fatter there we go it's perfect size and now what we gotta do bring it up here because we'll be, now we're going to be focusing on this box let's just bring it up so we're going to be focusing on this box now so now what we're going to be doing is like in this one i haven't added it i haven't added this box but it will help you look look much better 
I will be using this font because it looks it looks really nice. Let's put that on there. And is this the right one? It looks okay. But I would recommend I would I would recommend the um let's see. I yeah, I think it's number three. No, I already used that one, didn't I? I'm losing my mind guys, sorry. Yeah, this one. Iron eight. This one. This one was looks that's the daughter one. That's the one I was supposed to use. Yeah, that's the Yeah, so a little I feel yeah, it's for the cracks. And as you can see when it's rendered, it takes a while to render. So as you can see, it looks really, really epic, really epic. Um, I'll be, yeah, is, this is the one we use, right? Yeah, all right. Yeah, okay, so that's good. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Make sure for the, the red one on Moltex, you put this to, yeah, cubic. All right, that's good, sorry guys, all right. So now, let's focus on the cube. That is what we want right there looks beautiful and looks good now what you gotta do is make it a bit thinner so let's click on this again let's make it thinner It'll look looks like a slab now right so now what you gotta do so now we're gonna make this look really good even better than we're gonna make this even look better than this this is just we're just making this similar to this but we're gonna make it better so you guys can have the best text so now what we gotta do is go to the red eight, click on it, press glow, and then here, just go about 90, 475, and put this to about like five. And no, I, I would say four, 450. 450 and about 75. That makes it a not too glowy because we already have that light background but just a perfect amount of glow and then that already adds on to it as you can see now show you real quick It looks much much better look at that outline looks epic right guys looks really good now what we're gonna do is we're gonna bring this down bring that down like that center it we're almost done here guys center that bit make that bit bigger just a bit maybe a bit thicker as well move that down a bit and come Boom, that looks really epic. Now let's move it up. Make sure it's just touching it. Just touching it. There we go. Looks really nice, guys. There we go. And that is basically it. Now let's go back to your settings. Go to anti-analyzing and then go to 16 by 16 right there. And then boom. And then there you go. That is basically it. And yeah, that's how you make really, 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 really cool text. And it does look really, really good. And yeah, it's basically it. So let's just render this and see how it looks at the end. Oh yeah, guys, and one more thing. I forgot to show you one more really cool thing. Um, add a camera. Just click the camera button right there. Right, left click it. And then go to cameras. Use camera. And then go here, here. Just click camera, all right? Then go to coordinates and see where it goes RB. Just put it up. If you want it to go like left or go um or go down, if you want it to go like this way, I'm, I like this way more. So like turn it like that much. Zoom in a bit more. 
and you could add like some After Effects. So I might do a part two of this video. But for now, looking pretty dang swag, guys. Yeah, so I forgot to show you this, guys. Sorry. But anyway, I'm just going to rename this so it doesn't, doesn't go over. So I'll just rename that name. Um, fail. Because I did fail that. I, I was meaning to show you guys that. Because that camera angle really does help. So here we go. And we'll just save it to my desktop. Save. And we'll render this again. And... We'll see how this looks when it's done. So I'll meet you guys then. And boom, there it is, guys. This is how it looks. It looks really cool uh, with the white like strips around the text and like how foreign the text actually looks. The box with the all the materials, the glow, everything. The background looks really nice and sweet. So anyway, guys, thank you guys for watching. Please like, subscribe, and comment. But anyway, like really, this looks really good. And I am making making an intro so if you guys do want to be in an intro or if do if you need an intro make sure you guys leave a comment and tell me what your name is and descri like describe how you want your intro to be like what colors what do you want on top bottom what glow if you want the box and if you do what material um if you want the physical sky over here just tell me all the details and what you want the name to actually be and so yeah sorry for the inactivity once again i am working on a bunch of big big projects um and a lot of videos will be coming out in the next month or so so yeah guys just hang tight um hang in there but just make sure you subscribe thank you guys for 175 subscribers my channel is crazy you guys are the best so thank you thank you thank you and i yeah and i will be making the intro like i said so comment down below and your intro will be ready pretty soon anyway guys thank you guys for um watching and please like subscribe and comment and see you guys next time bye